Have you ever clicked on a link on a website only to end up on a page that says 404 page not found? I know, it's frustrating as heck. Comparing with the real life scenario, it's like driving to your favorite coffee shop and finding out it's not there anymore. Exactly just like that, the 404 error isn't just annoying, it can really confuse your visitors, impact your site's SEO and frankly interrupt your workflow as a creator. But don't you worry, today we are going to tackle this issue together and I promise you that by the end of this video, you will not only know how to fix this problem but also have the knowledge to prevent it from happening again. So are you ready to get started? Let's dive in. Okay, now before we fix anything, let's understand what a 404 error actually is. Simply put, a 404 error means that the page you are trying to visit doesn't exist at the URL you entered. But why would that even happen in the first place? Well, there are a few common culprits here. First, maybe you updated your permalink structure in WordPress and it broke something. Second, you moved or deleted a page but forgot to redirect it. If neither of those, maybe what we are looking for lies within the .htaccess file. A technical term, but don't stress it, I'll make you understand that shortly. And in the end, in case nothing works, the issue could even be a server related problem. You see, reasons could be many, but the good news is, all of these are fixable. And I'll guide you through each one of them step by step. So let's get started with the most common fix, that is resetting your permalinks. Let me tell you that this method is a super simple one and often works like a charm. For that, here's what you need to do. Log into your WordPress dashboard, head over to the settings menu and click on permalinks. Now here, you don't need to change anything. All you have to do is just click on the save changes button at the bottom. What this will basically do is refresh your permalink structure, which in most cases will solve your 404 errors. Once you've done that, simply get back to the page that showed the error and try accessing it again. If it works, amazing, problem solved. If not, don't you worry, we're just getting started. If resetting the permalinks didn't do the trick, the next step is to check your .htaccess file. Now, this as said, might sound technical but stick with me, it's actually not that bad. The .htaccess file is like a set of instructions for your server telling it how to handle URLs. If this file is corrupted or missing, it can cause all sorts of issues including 404 errors. Now, let me show you the way through which you can fix it. First, you will need to access to your website's root directory. You can do this through an FTP client like FileZilla or via your hosting control panel. Once you're in, look for a file named .htaccess. If you don't see it, check your setting twice to make sure hidden files are visible. Now, before we make any changes into it, download a backup of this file to your computer. Because it's always better to be safe than sorry, right? Next, open the file in a text editor and replace all of its content with the default WordPress htaccess code. You can find this code on WordPress's official site or in the description below of this video. At present, I'll simply copy the code from here and paste it in here. Set! Now, once you will come back in FileZilla and click yes, the job will be done. Moving further, now in case you are still one of those users who is not able to find their .htaccess file as it's missing altogether, don't worry, just create a new one like this, paste in the code, come back and that's done as well. Same thing. Okay, so maybe the page you are trying to access has been moved or deleted. In that case, the solution here is to set up redirects. Think of it like forwarding your mail after moving to a new address. Redirects ensure that visitors trying to access the old URL are automatically sent to the correct page. To do this, you can use a plugin like Redirection or Yoast SEO. Once you have installed the plugin, go to its settings. Follow the onboarding and setup steps here real quick. Then go to the Redirects tab and finally enter the old URL here along with the new URL here. That's done. Moving ahead now, all you have to do is to save your changes. And just like that, voila! This way, now anyone visiting the old link will be seamlessly redirected to your new page. Now tell me, isn't this a great way to not only fix 404 errors, but also improve the user experience onto your site? Alright, if none of the above solutions I just shared work, it might be the time to call in some reinforcements. 
Yes, I'm talking about your hosting provider because sometimes the issue really isn't with the WordPress at all, but it's the server settings which is causing this problem and that my friend is managed by your hosting provider. They can check for things like server misconfigurations, file permission issues or caching problems that might be in most cases from their side would have been causing the error. So don't hesitate to reach out as their support team will be available for your help anytime. Okay, now that we have fixed the problem, let's make sure it doesn't happen again because prevention is always better than cure, right? So for that, start by regularly testing your site for broken links. You can use tools like Google Search Console or Broken Link Checker for this. Also, whenever you delete or move a page, set up a redirect immediately. And yes, finally keep your WordPress core, plugins and themes up to date to minimize compatibility issues. Because by staying proactive like this, you can avoid most of the 404 errors and keep your website running smoothly. And there you have it, a complete guide to fixing 404 errors in WordPress. We covered everything from resetting permalink to editing the .htxs file, setting up redirects and even calling your hosting provider if needed. Now, if you have any questions or tips of your own regarding this topic, feel free to drop a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Also, if you really enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to our channel and be sure to hit that little bell icon so you never miss out on amazing tutorials like these. I will see you in the next one. Until then, keep learning and happy website building.